So how are you feeling? Good. I'm ready for therapy. What about you? I am ready too, but I am nervous, to be honest. Are you nervous? Like, I'm not ready to share about our relationship with your mom. Today we're having family therapy session and Mrs. Gwyn gonna join us in video chat. When we did our therapy intakes, it was an option to do family therapy. So I chose that option because my mom is such a big part of our life, especially when we make big decisions. Hello. Hi. Come on in. Of course you wanna have your mom there so, there so she can support you and take your side in all of the arguments. Hi, Mother. Hi, Mrs. Gwyn. You look gorgeous. It's so nice to have you. Hi, everyone. The reason we're here, actually, is because we've seen some patterns that we would just like to talk about a bit more. And we thought your mother might be a perfect person to add into those conversations because she's been such a big part of your lives. Normally, I wouldn't just express all my emotions about my marriage to my mother or anyone else, but... Wouldn't you? But then you express everything. What was that? Wouldn't he? Uh, yeah, like, he called her for everything. Do you feel like he tells her things first more than you? I do like he telling her things first, and I do I feel that he telling her more than she, he should tell her. So really what we've seen this past week, it seems like, is the trust and the communication issues. So obviously, we have to say, why are there so many communication issues? Why is there not trust? So that's why we're here today, to kind of go under it. And we can, of course, refer back to the reveal with the birth control pills. So I don't know if Gwen knows about this. She doesn't know about anything that's happened here so far. Okay. I didn't expect to tell Mrs. Gwyn about the birth control, but here in therapy, I am learning that I need to be more open and honest. So I guess now is the time to come clean. Would you like to tell your mother-in-law what you revealed? Okay, Mrs. Gwyn, don't judge me so hard, but um, so Joey was wanting to have another baby and um, I do not. So I started with birth control and I didn't tell Joey and I didn't tell you either. Did you just say you're on birth control and you didn't tell Jovi? Exactly. Why didn't you tell him that? Because, Mrs. Gwyn, you know, I'm not ready for a second baby right now, and I tell him that every single day. I know. You've made that clear. But getting on birth control without telling him, that's a horrible thing to hide from your husband. You guys need to communicate. You can't just get on birth control and not tell him. That's so wrong. Have you seen trust as an issue, Gwen? Yes, ma'am, very much. An ongoing issue? Yes. There are some things that he tells me that I think he should talk to you about. Jovi, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus. But if y'all are going to be open, maybe you should come clean and tell her what you told me. I just think she won't understand. You know what your mom's talking about? Of course. Yes. Jovi and Yara... There is trust and communication issues, and so we want to explore that more. I also invited his mother because I think she's a pivotal part of their relationship, and it's very important that there is trust and communication with all three of them. Is it something you discussed with her and you didn't discuss with Yara? Like? No. Yes. Would you please expand on that? I thought it was an, uh, something that I can talk about with my mother, and I didn't want to talk about it with you. 
Jovi, give her a chance. You are there to be able to speak to your wife. A few months ago, I got a job offer um, to work closer to home, to be home more. But I didn't take it, and I didn't want to bring it up to Yara because I know she wouldn't understand. <laughs> so you had... Uh... Wait, let me make this clear. So you have the offer to work at closest to home, but you refuse this? Yeah. When Jovi say that he turned off the work offer, that he was can work near home, it's kind of selfish a little bit. Because you know we want you home. I have to leave earlier than expected. I'm not ready to stay alone. Oh, it's so terrible. I just didn't know. I know it's terrible. I can't leave here. I promise you everything's going to be better. You just have to trust me and be just a little bit more patient. I know you've already been through so much, but just this one time, and life will be good. You tell me this last time. This is the problem since we've been married, and he tried to give it a secret, which is pissing me off. So why you don't tell me? Because you would tell me to take the new job, and it would be a, it would be a problem for but us. It's the same job, right? So you do the same things. No, I wouldn't do the same thing. It was a different job, working like in an office. And that will be perfect because I will see you. Not like now you're going for a month. At the time, I'm alone all the time, so how you are expecting me to raise two kids by myself and you have the chance to be near me and you choose to not be? <laughs> so stupid. This, this, so this is, the, this is the way you trust in me and all that stuff? And you tell me, Mrs. Green, you will not tell me. <sighs> Did that occur to you that that would help resolve her wanting to have another child if you did? work closer? It occurred to me and I thought about it and I talked to my mom about it and I just didn't feel like it was the right choice for me to make, so I didn't take it. So Jovi, what is the piece she wouldn't understand, do you feel? Um, that the right decision was not for me to take the job. I don't think she would get that. Because? I, I do love to hear that. She wants me to be at home, but I don't think she understands what that really looks like as far as not being able to spend as much time with me as they are and just waking up and going to the park and play with our daughter or something that's no longer going to be the case because I'm going to be in an office for eight hours a day. So, um, But now you're a whole month away. So and then a whole month that I get to spend home with you. Yeah, but then you're missing so many important stuff to when you're away. I understand that, but I also have so much more time to do other stuff with you guys, and I don't think you get that. Would you have been close to understanding his other piece to why he didn't want to take it? Of course I will not push him to do something which he's not happy for. Of course I will never do that to you. Do you trust that? No. <laughs> this is so funny, okay. That's why we're here. I feel like Jovi had been such a hypocrite in this situation by getting mad at me that I was hiding a secret about the birth control. But he did basically the same thing to me. He hid the secret and tell Mrs. Green about. Like, why are you getting mad if you know you have something to say? So there has to be a decision made, right? You're gonna make a decision to trust your spouse, trust your partner, or not. How will the future look different if trust is not established now? What will the not, relationship look like? Not good. No, not good. Knowing how much this has hurt her, I do regret hiding it from her. I didn't think that uh, this would affect her in such a negative way. The level of trust in our marriage just went from here to here. We've got a lot more to work on than what I thought walking in here. I would say the future work for you two is to decide what you want your new norm to be, your new norm of communicating. Is it conflict or is it just a conversation? You know, it's all in how we want to perceive everything. They can fix it. They just don't know how. I think when you understand why someone does something, 
you'll think differently of it. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. Y'all need to discuss things. I appreciate you sharing because you just created a dynamic and a shift that they can address and go deeper into their relationship. I really feel sad right now. I want my husband to be honest more than anything else. And I have no idea how we're supposed to get over from, from wherever is blocking us from each other. We just stirred up another problem instead of fixing the ones that we have. And we only have one week left at the resort. <laughs>